Welcome to Crazy Gamer Games. I'm the Crazy Gamer, and today we're going to play Star Saga Mission A. We are playing it in solo mode, so there, there will be no Nexus player. We will be using the Autonomous Nexus deck. So, let's get started here. We are Captain Erica, the blue figurine down here, and our goal is to reach this terminal to unlock this door to meet up with our friends. In this game we have um, the, in the mercenary phase which is the first phase we are allowed to move and then take an action in that order. If we do an action we cannot move and we cannot stop and do an action in the middle of our move. So Erica has a movement of five. So we're gonna go ahead and move her five spaces. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to tuck her away in that corner right there. Now, Erica has a ranged weapon, and this is the template to see if people are in ranged. So, as you can see, that person is in range, and if Erica peeks out to this square right here around the corner to take a pot shot, she would also have range on this um, security guard in the back. So, I think that's what Erica's going to do. I think she's going to lean out and take a shot at that security guard because there's no cover book penalties and she gets her full amount of dice, which is four. And I believe the security guard, he's going to roll two. Let's roll the dice and see what happens. Okay. Wow. Lots of hits. So we got one critical hit, one major hit, and one and two minor hits. They did roll a shield, a critical shield, so that'll block the critical success. And they did write, roll a minor shield to take out a minor success. But it still manages to do two damage, and that would be the security guard's life total. So the security guard has been taken out, and Erica gains an experience point. So now we need to take the Nexus's turn. And what we do is we flip over the first card of the Autonomous deck, and it is target acquired. Choose a mercenary. All enemy models that can shoot it without moving will do so. Well, we really can't do that because we don't have any models that can shoot. But so when there is no target, it is basically considered as a bonus action. So the Nexus player would get one normal activation based on this mission. So for the for the normal activation, the lab technician's move is five. So she's gonna move one, two, three, four, and she's gonna pin Erica in the corner, and she's gonna make a close quarters assault with one die, and Erica's gonna be rolling three. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, the lab technician missed there, so that's no damage to us. All right, so now they would get their bonus activation, and she doesn't need to move again, so she's going to go ahead and attack again. And we have our one attack in three. And... They rolled one minor success, but we also rolled a two major shields and a minor shield, so the damage was blocked again. So now we go to the reinforcement phase. So we have to draw another Nexus card, but we just look, let's see if I can get it to focus here. We just look at the bottom down there where that two is. And now we have two points of reinforcement that we can put on this node right there or there no they don't start on the board they start off the board but this is where they would come in on their next activation and how you work with the points you have to do the highest cost person first which will be the security guard so we need to put a security guard and we're gonna put security guard there so when he when Erica hits for the terminal he probably get a shot in the back at her so now it's Erica's turn. She cannot move. So her only option is going to be to attack 
this lab technician who has two health points and one shield. Now for Erica's close quarters, she only rolls three attack dice. And the lab technician will roll one. And we rolled one critical success. A minor, sh a minor shield cannot block that. So we managed to do one damage to the lab technician and we gain one experience point for damaging someone. So, well, that's that's the end of the mercenary phase and Erica's turn is done. We got a lab technician with one damage. We got a security guard ready to come in. Let's see what the Nexus player is doing. Must have been a rat. Take any minions waiting at a single reinforcement point and place them in wait at any other single reinforcement point. Well, we can do that, so we're going to. We're going to move him to there. Okay, and now we'll draw for the reinforcement. Oh, first we have to do the one activation. So the lab tech is going to attack Erica. They roll one and we roll three. And no damage. Two blocks though. Okay, so now we go to the reinforcement phase. And I don't know if it's going to focus. It is one. It says one. You have to trust me on that. So that would be a lab technician. So we'll go ahead and put this down here on that point. Now. That would be the end of the Nexus phase. And we're back on Erica's turn. Still pinned in this corner. But she will roll her three against one for a close quarters attack. And critical block will block that with the two damage. So she manages to kill the lab technician. So she'll get one life left. And that will give her another experience point to three. Okay, and that will end Erica's turn because you have to move before you do your action. So now it is the Nexus's turn, and we get System Lockdown remains in play. No terminals may be used. Discard at the start of the next Nexus phase. So we'll put that right there so we can see it. So we know that we have to do that. I know it's not focused. I'm sorry about that. So now we have one activation and we are going to go ahead and move the security guard in he has a movement of five so one two three four five he is allowed to go diagonally as long as he would have been able to move in the space connected to the diagonal the diagonal space he wanted to move into so now we flip for the reinforcements Ooh, this one's going to be tough three so for three we would take the first highest which is two and security guard there and we would get another lab technician okay back to the mercenary phase and we can't access that terminal but we do need to get close to it maybe we can get somewhere in this vicinity to take a shot at that um, security guard there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check range. I'm gonna set it. She definitely has range. Let's see if we have line of sight. Go from the center to center. Yes, we have line of sight, but he will get one extra defense for cover because he is kind of we, we kind of clip this back corner right there and that's how he's going to get um an extra defensive dice on that so for our um attack dice we will roll four his normal defense is two but he will roll an extra one for the cover get that here all right let's see what we get wow 
So that's a critical, two majors, and a minor, and they basically got two minors. So that is three damage. So that security guard is dead, dead, dead. So we will gain an experience for that. Now I'm not sure if you gain experience for each point of damage you inflict. Because if you do inflict the point of damage, you do gain the experience. If you happen to know, um, put a link in the comments and I will get myself that extra experience. Because everybody loves experience. Okay, so now we go to the Nexus phase. And it's the start, so we will discard System Lockdown. And we will draw the Nexus card. Field Dressings. Remove one damage counter from any minion that is not in the front arc of a mercenary. Well, there's no target for that, so that means it becomes a bonus activation. So, for the first activation, we're going to move in one of these lab techs. One, two, three, four, five. And now for our bonus activation, I believe we're going to move the security guard in to take a shot at Erica. One, two, three, four, and we can make that diagonal for five. Now, he is in range, as we can see from before, but he can stick out from behind this, um, poke out from behind the corner and make his shot from this square. He doesn't move there, but he makes his shot from that square. And if you look at line of sight, this square can see every part of Erica's square, so that means she gets no cover bonus at all. So he will roll two, and she will roll three. I hope that he doesn't roll this. Okay, so he rolled a critical hit, a major hit, and we rolled a major defense, which will cancel that out. The minor and the blank to go in. So he did one point of damage to Erica, and we put that on there. She only has five hit points, and if we get down into the red area, where there's no green exposed, she loses a die on everything she does. We do not want that to happen. So now we need to do reinforcements, and see if we can get this to focus, because this is a good one for us. It's a zero. Kind of see it there. So we do not have to put any reinforcements in play. Fantastic. So, Erica needs to open this door. So, it only has a difficulty of one, so we just need one success. And I would like to do it before she is injured. So I'm just going to take my chances and try to open this now. So I'm going to move one, two, three. But I'm going to face this way so anybody coming up will still be in my front arc. I don't want to take any shots from behind. And in order to do a terminal, it's just like an attacking. Um, we have a tech. Her tech is two. So she's going to roll two um, combat dice and the computer's firewall is actually going to roll one. We only need one success, So, but if they block our success, then it, it's a failure and we have to try again. And this is our action, so our turn ends after this. And we rolled a critical hit, but they blocked it, but we had one more success there at the end, and we are able to open the door. And now that the door is open, we just need to get through there, and we have um, won the game. So, but it's, unfortunately, it's the Nexus player's turn. So, let's see what the Nexus gets. Gang up. Choose a mercenary. All enemy models that can fight it without moving will do so. Well, that's not going to happen because nobody's in the front arc to fight it. It would say shoot it if the if they wanted it from a ranged attack. So it would have to be in the front arc. The front arc are the um, five squares right here in the front. And the three behind it are the back arc. And that would be attack from behind. 
you lose a defense die for that. Well, so that will become a bonus activation. So for the first activation, can she get there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, she can get there. So we're going to have her move in there. And she is going to do an attack of two and we're going to block with three. And that's another point of damage because they want a critical hit and we didn't roll a critical defense. So that is a, another point of damage for us. One more and we are injured, but we did open that door. Now we need to do the bonus activation. And we are going, well, he doesn't really need to move to shoot. Can he, can he see all of our square? Oh, no, he can't shoot because a friendly target is next to her. So we will go ahead and move this lab tech in. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe that next turn they can cut them off at the door. Okay, now for reinforcements. And we lucked out again. I don't know if you can see that. But it is zero. So no reinforcements. That works out for us. So now it is our turn. Now, I am engaged with this lab technician. But I can break away but I would take an opportunity attack. And I'm not really worried about that. So they will roll two, and I will roll three. And I blocked it. Now I can break away. I can go one, two, three, four, five. And I will face this way, and I will shoot that lab technician. I am not in their back on, but I still shoot it with full force. They only roll one. And wow, three criticals. Dead, 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 dead. So that will give me another experience point. Go ahead and mark that. Oops, knock the damage off. Now we had that two damage on there. Okay, so now we go to the Nexus phase. And the Nexus draws a minion may move. So probably this guy. One, two, three, four, five, five. So now for the activation. We're going to activate him, and he's going to shoot at her. And he shoots with two. Roll two. And we're going to roll Erica's three. And another point of damage. We are now injured. Yeah, just one point, because we blocked this lower damage. But this critical, we did not block. So it's one more point of damage. But... Now we did the activation. Now we draw for reinforcements, which is a two. And that will be another security guard. But I'm not worried about it because on my turn, I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, and go through the door. And that will do it for Mission A of Star Saga. Join us next time for Mission B. Thank you. Click the like down below if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. This is the Crazy Gamer for Crazy Gamer Games. Thank you.